Welcome to my channel, Journey of the World with Sergo. Today I will tell you about Bali, one of those locations dubbed heaven on earth is the Indonesian island of Bali. However, this idea is not just related to pristine white sands and calm blue waters. Only after traveling here can the phenomenon of the island's incredible magnetism be understood. A location of spiritual strength and self-knowledge for some, magnificent rice terraces, active volcanoes, and the ever-raging ocean for others, new friends, exciting experiences, and the finest parties for others. Bali offers amazing surfing, beautiful scenery, yoga, delectable fruit, and the warmest smiles. Each traveler will discover his or her own niche and personal paradise. Geography The Malay Archipelago Sunda Islands chain concludes in Bali. The Indian Ocean and the Pacific Ocean both wash over its southern and northern halves, respectively. It is separated from Java to the west by the Strait of Bali, and to the east by the Lombok Strait. Bali has a total area of 5,600 square kilometers, spanning 80 kilometers in the north and 80 kilometers in the south. The mountain chain, which stretches from west to east, is a hotspot for volcanic activity. Agung, 3,142 m, and Gunung Banner, 1,717 m, two sizable active volcanoes, are situated in the northeastern region of the island. More than 20 rivers have their beginnings in the highlands. Among these, Ayan, Telagawaja, and Bacchus are the biggest. Lakes Temblingen, Bayan, Bratan, and Badr are also present. The busiest and noisiest resort on the island, Kuta, is especially loved by young people. For those who can't imagine their vacations without noisy parties, pubs, lots of restaurants and stores, this city is ideal. It has everything you need for a busy and active holiday, beautiful sandy beaches, good infrastructure and friendly attitude. In Kuta you can go surfing, ride the slides in the water park, enjoy the sunset, or spend the evening with loud music and alcoholic beverages. And pricey and chic resort is Nusadua. It is a sizable complex with opulent hotels, the cleanest beaches, and upscale dining establishments. Here, comfort takes precedence over authenticity, ensuring a really five-star beach vacation. Visitors can choose from a wide variety of spas and shopping areas, as well as from a secure location with excellent service. Although the resort does not have a lot of unique locations, there are numerous natural wonders. Consider the location of Water Blow, where enormous waves pound the cliffs in dramatic fashion. The island's cultural center is Ubud. You may fully immerse yourself in the customs and quirks of Bali living here. Numerous spiritual rituals, including tea ceremonies, meditations, continuous yoga classes, concerts, and exhibitions, are often held throughout the city. It is said that the vast number of creative individuals who visit Ubud for inspiration is what gives the city its unique vibe. The town's rice terraces and rainforests are its principal natural features. There are many temples, vegan cafes, and vibrant shops in Ubud, but few bars and clubs. On Bali's south coast, the village of Changu is a beach community with a unique sense of quiet and measured pace. This location is ideal for philosophical discussions with the ocean, unwinding in a natural setting, and, of course, surfing. The renowned black sand beach in Changu has long been a sought-after site for photo shoots. Here, you may take in the breathtaking surroundings, mix with friendly locals, learn about the culture, master the waves, and go nowhere fast. Aimed is a destination for snorkeling, scuba diving, and relaxing beach vacations. There are hardly any large waves here and the water is really clear. By the way, if you're lucky, you might see dolphins while swimming here. Aimed is less entertaining than many well-known resorts, but the area's natural charms make up for it. The Agung Volcano and the lovely green slopes are best seen from here. 
Santa is the resort of choice for family and romantic holidays. Here you will find a developed infrastructure, stunning scenery, tropical gardens, ancient temples, and a lot of entertainment. This place is also suitable for exploring the depths of the sea, fishing tours, and water rides. In addition, the volcanoes and hot springs of Bali are conveniently accessible from center, and there is an island with giant turtles not far from the resort. History About 4,000 years ago, the island began to see its earliest habitations. The first people to arrive on the country by water were the Austronesians, who originated in modern-day Malaysia and China. They were the ones who created the well-known subac system of land irrigation, which is being employed in rice fields today. The island's culture was greatly influenced by the Indian traders who arrived there in the first century AD. As a result, Bali saw the establishment of a Hindu state in the 5th century. Cornelius de Hutman arrived in Bali in 1597 and was the first European to do so. The island piqued the interest of the Dutch for financial reasons. Up until the start of World War II, when Bali was captured by the Japanese, the island was under their control. Holland attempted to retake the colony after the war, but the residents were able to defend their right to independence. In Bali, tourism started to take off in the 1970s. Airstrip development started, and luxury hotels started to go up. English was made a required subject in schools to make it simpler for Balinese to acquire new vocations. The number of tourists visiting Bali nowadays is constantly rising, and the industry continues to be one of the island's most lucrative ones. What must a visitor do while in Bali? Attend a yoga lesson outside. For anyone looking to master this technique and discover what true body-soul harmony is, Bali is a true Mecca. It's no surprise that practically everyone in this place practices yoga. After all, the island's special vitality and enchanting surroundings make this place wonderful. Plan a trip to Sakumpal, Bali's tallest and most potent waterfall. It is situated in the island's north. To get to the falls, there is a beautiful path that winds through the jungle. Either on your own or with a guide, you can walk it. At the Mount Batter Volcano, catch the sunrise. It can be climbed by even a traveler in average physical condition. The ascent often starts at night and lasts for two hours on average. It is forbidden to visit the volcano without a guide. To visit one of the thousands of oldest temples, the beauty and atmosphere of these places is mesmerizing, and it would be a real crime not to take the time to visit them. Conquer the Wave Bali's beaches regularly rank among the top surfing spots in the world. If you've been dreaming of getting up on a board for a long time, this is the perfect place to make your dreams come true. Consider a unique coffee called Kopi Luwak. Its unique method of preparation is its key selling point. Small mosangas consume the coffee tree's fruit, digest the pulp, and poop out coffee beans. Then, after gathering this harvest, it is cleaned and dried before being used to create a special beverage. Eat a lot of fruit and traditional foods. From mouth-watering seafood to various vegan cuisines, Bali has all the traveler's heart desires. The local eateries serve nasi goreng, gado gado, satay, and nasi lavar as part of the national cuisine. Fruit smoothies and bowls are particularly popular here. Meditate. Where better to find inner peace and tranquility with nature than in Bali? If you pay attention, this place has a lot to say. Bali's natural beauty. Bali is a veritable treasure trove of unusual cultures, colorful locations, and inspiring natural features. Every area of the island has something unique to offer. You'll need to arrange your route well in advance so that you know which way to go. Subscribe and like my channel. I'm happy to try for you. See you in the next video.